Hey, what's up? This is Corey Wong. I am here at the Ernie Ball headquarters out in the desert in California. I just took an incredible tour where I got to see how they're making all the strings every step of the way, the accessories, the pedals, all of it. And I was so stoked to see the attention to detail. I wanted to do a little shootout with some of the strings that Ernie Ball makes. And today we're deciding to do that with Man vs. Lab. <laughs> I've always heard, and it's been very obviously said, acoustic guitar strings, they sound way different. Bass strings, they sound way different. Electric guitars all sound the same. Oh, it's just about the guitar, the pickups, the amp, whatever. I am here to either prove them right or prove them absolutely wrong. We're trying to look at the objective, but also help me find out what's the best string for me. In order to really maintain a controlled experiment, we are going to use my exact same guitar, pickups, and amp settings. The only thing that we're gonna change out is the strings. I don't know which strings are on my guitar right now, and we're gonna rifle through a bunch of different sets, and then I'm gonna give my response on how they feel, how I think they sound, and the lab is gonna tell us what they actually sound like as far as technical terms. So we have some regular slinkies, the first set of strings that I've ever played on in my life. We're gonna check out the Cobalts. Of course, you gotta hit those M steels. We've got the Pure Nickel Rock and Roll set. I'm gonna see how they feel different in my hands. I'm gonna see how do they respond different in the low end, high end, in the mid range. Also, just the fundamental frequency versus the overtones. And we're going to test my ears against the lab. So, what is the lab? We have a spectrogram and we have a frequency analyzer. Across there, it's pretty much just like any EQ you've, you've seen or used. We have the frequency spectrum uh, of the human ear. And then over here on the spectrogram, you might not be used to seeing a spectrogram. So I'm gonna give you an example, just seeing what. Where it's red, it's a hotter signal. You can see there's less signal up top, but you can see the fundamental of the notes and then how the overtones work as well. All right, I'm all set up with my first set of strings we're gonna try out. I'm gonna play a 20 second riff and I'll see if I can hear a difference just from that. See if the lab hears a difference and maybe there's none or maybe there's a lot of difference. We're gonna find out. I don't know what string this is. I have to go on my feel for this. They feel a little bit tighter. They don't feel as loose as what I'm used to playing. So I don't think that they're regular slinkies. Like the middle strings feel a little tighter to me. They don't feel as slinky, I guess, for a lack of better terms. And they feel like the, it's a little more mid-range focus, less snap to the top end. I really hope I'm not wrong. All right, we got the second string set on here. I don't know what they are. I'd like to spend a little more time before I have to go through this and potentially embarrass myself, but I am confident in my skills. I'm gonna find out what strings these are just by playing them. Let's hit it. I'm hearing more top end, it's brighter. The strings feel the same almost as the last ones. I can't really tell. It feels like sound wise, there's more top end, maybe a little less mid range, or I can't tell if it's just that there's more top end. No, I, I think there's less mid range. It feels a little scooped to me. The feel of the strings is a little bit different. They're a little more, like I wanna say the top end of the feel is bright, it's like a brighter feel. But that doesn't make any sense. But that's what I feel, and uh, I'm gonna stand by that. There's something about, it, it doesn't feel coated, but it's like there's something on the surface of the string, it feels a little bit 
different. I don't know why. I, I can't wait to find out what they are though. Next string, let's hit it. <laughs> Here we go, we got the third set of strings. Let's hit this thing against the lab. Out of the gate, my very first thing, I'm gonna go on feel. The surface of the strings feels the same as string number two. It's got that, I don't know how to describe it. Again, just like that last one. They feel slinkier than the previous two. A little more mid-scooped. And this one is kind of like the last string, but this one to me has a squishier top end to it. It's got a more rounded top end to it. I like this string the best so far out of them. I feel like it's more immediately my sound with this string. I would guess that it's just a regular slinky, but there's something about the surface of this. I was gonna use the phrase, can't quite put my finger on, but I literally put my fingers on it and my fingers, and when I put my fingers on it, that's actually what confuses me. So I don't know what the right term is. I can't put the identifier on this particular string yet. But it's my favorite one so far out of the three. I'll just say that. Let's try the next one. Fourth set. I already know what string this is. We don't even need to do this. Feel alone. Feel alone. I know what string this is, but we gotta, we gotta do it for the lab. The lab can't feel the string right now. Yep, I still know what it is. I'm so certain that I'm willing to say, this is the regular Slinky 10. This one to me, it just feels like guitar strings. And I mean that in the best way possible where it just feels like the classic, like the feel is what I'm used to if I just sit down and play a guitar. This is what my fingers and what my brain expects out of the feel of a string. This to me just feels like classic electric guitar tone to me. Paired with the Stratocaster with this sort of tone, I'm gonna be so embarrassed if I'm wrong if this is like Cobalt or something. I, I, but I, I'm not. I'm, I'm certain that this is a set of regular slinkies. It is the classic guitar string tone that we've all grown and known to love. <laughs> is that pure nickel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I go so hard on that? Why did I go so hard? I didn't have to go hard saying I knew what it was. You're messing with me, you're messing with me. I know it's a slinky. I'm gonna be so pissed if I'm wrong. Why are you putting me through this? All right, Corey Wong, the ultimate test is complete. Here we are. Now it's time we find out the results. So we got four sets of strings here. Yeah. Want to know which one you yeah. think is each of these one, two, three, and four? Now I I got pretty I got pretty sure in myself there on string set number four, and I stand by it. I think string four is the regular slinky. I think number three is the M steel. Okay. Two is the cobalt, and I think number one is the pure nickel, the rock and roll set based only on the fact that I think it was more mid-rangey and not the same snap on the top end. And I'm gonna feel like a complete idiot if I'm wrong on these ones, so. I I'm confident, let's go, let's do this. What? String number one, less, I felt, I said tighter feel as far as tension, more tension, mid-focus, less top end. As, am I right or am I wrong? We're trying to test if you have the golden ear here or if this is just kind of a little bit of luck, but he's right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's yes! give a round of applause. He left four for four. Let's yes! just say the man has the golden ear. We tried no to way! Man versus machine, lab versus Corey Wong, and 
The ultimate winner in this test is the man in the myth. I was not coached on this either. I promise you, I was not coached. I had no idea how awesome these strings were. These sound great. Compared to the other ones, this, this one really surprised me. All right, so we did the string shootout and we confirmed different strings sound and feel different. It is a false narrative that the strings are all the same. And what is fun about that is that it now opens up this possibility that there is a right string set for each player as an individual. There is a different string set that's going to draw out your artistry and your voice on the instrument in a way that other strings won't.